is a tutorial in uh, using the text command in Corel Draw. Uh, the text command is in the toolbox and it's this icon here, the letter A icon for text. You can activate that by clicking on the icon or let's say you want to use the shortcut key, just type in F8 and it will activate the, uh, the text tool. And you know you are in the text tool because you have this, you know, beside the cursor, it's the letter A. Now, I'm going to explain about the artistic text because paragraph text is different from artistic text. But the first part, we're going to talk about the artistic text. Uh, when you click on the, the text tool and you click inside your artwork and you will notice in the property bar, you would see the you know the fonts that's going to be used uh, the points which is 24 points here and uh, so this is the property of the text that you're typing in so I'm just going to put uh, any text here okay so I type in the text there and I'm just going to zoom in here with my zoom tool so when I click on the text, you have an option to change the, the font, let's say Arial Black, uh, let's say, so these are the list of the fonts. And uh, you can increase the font size by going to this drop down and you can just insert the, I mean, choose the font size. Like any other text. Uh, if you want to color the text, you can go to this uh, color palettes and you can change the text color. And if you want to add some outline, you go to your outline tool, which is this one, and you can choose whatever outline you want. Just gonna remove the outline. Now, when you click on the text and you go to your shape tool, which is this one, or F10, click on the shape tool, and you'll notice that you have this nodes, call it nodes. So this first node is for the first letter. So that's for the C. If I select that node, I know it's selected because it has a, uh, a block box. You see, I can change the properties separate from the, the rest of the text. So I can change the text size to, let's say, 100, or let's say, 472 gonna exaggerate it and I also can change the the font size I mean the font style okay. uh, same with let's say the letter D which is to have different font too and the different uh, style so that's how you how you how you separate the properties of font by going to your shape tool Okay, not only you can change the font, you can also change the color by going to shape tool to make it a different color. Okay, now let's go to, let's type in uh, like a line. Let's type in it is easy to learn. Well, draw. Okay. Now I click on the line, and you can also change the the font of a certain word. So if you click on the the text, I mean the line itself, and you go to your text tool, and you highlight a text or highlight a word, and you can change the font separately. can also to change the color separately. Okay, you can also do it that way. Now, there is also a command wherein you can change the spacing of the text. Let's say you want to have the, the letter spacing to be wider. So you go to your shape tool and this one, 
is for adjustment adjusting the spacing of the text if I go just to make it clear the text doesn't text size doesn't change it's just the spacing of the text okay so this is how you do it Okay, now let's say you have four lines of text and I'm just going to zoom in here and let's say you want to adjust the spacing between the lines. So in Corel, you click on your shape tool and uh, uh, before this we were adjusting the text spacing so you click here and move it to the right. But now since we're concerned about the spacing of the lines, you go to this icon here and click and drag it down so that's how you change the spacing of the lines okay now in in Corel draw you can also change the the shape of the text uh, so in here uh, my text my font is Harlow solid italic and this is the text that I've chosen. Let's say I'm going to put a an outline. I'm just gonna color the outline. You can go to your outline pen and then you can change this to let's say red. Or another option how to change the outline color if you right mouse click and click on this colors here in the color palette. It changes. Let's go back to red. Uh, maybe purple. Okay. Now, as you have, if you notice, this is still editable text. Like I can type in the text, so it's still text. Now, if you want to stylize the text, you have to convert it to uh, curves. So, in order to convert it to curves, you click on the text itself, and then you go to arrange. And click on convert to curves. Now you notice that when you go to your text tool, you cannot edit the text anymore because it's already objects. It's like shapes that you cannot edit anymore. Now let's say I want to change the letter C and extend this the bottom part of the C up to here. I can do that now because it's already objects. So I go to my shape tool and I'm just gonna zoom in here. So go to my shape tool and I highlight the nodes that I want to edit, which is these four nodes, and I bring it to the right side. Okay. Zoom out. Now let's say I want to edit the letter R since it's object already, I click on the text again, which it was converted to curves. I click on my shape tool, and let's say I'm going to move this one down, and I'm just going to reshape this a little bit, and also this one. And I can extend this Hit F4 to view the whole thing, and let's say I'm going to move uh, this A and W here to the right side, I mean to the left side, and that's how you do it. So these are not fonts anymore, these are already objects, so that you can edit the, yeah, the shapes.